Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines, brought to you by PU Prime. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Financial Digest. Wall Street rose ahead of a packed week of earnings from mega cap companies and the final stretch before the November the 5th election, while sentiment also improved after energy supplies were not disrupted by weekend developments in the Middle East. Digital asset inflows experienced a notable surge in the week ending October the 25th, reaching $901 million, largely fueled by a spike in Bitcoin transactions and propelling year-to-date totals to $27 billion. Cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike sued Delta Airlines after a faulty software update prompted a global outage in July. The July the 19th incident led to worldwide flight cancellations and hit industries including banks, healthcare, media companies and hotel chains. The gold dollar pair saw a minor rise of 0.2% in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. The euro dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, rising 0.1%. The RSI is giving a positive signal. The pound-dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal. The Aussie dipped a slight 0.2% against the dollar in the last session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. The US consumer confidence will be released at 14 GMT. The US jolts job openings at 14 GMT. The US Redbook index at 1255 GMT. The Irish retail sales will be released at 11 GMT. The Austrian Purchasing Manager Index at 9 GMT. The Belgian Gross Domestic Product at 10 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Tuesday's financial report. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial market.